Midnight City. What a shithole. This town is the kind of place you make sure you don't stop at on the way to your sunny vacation. Nothing but criminals and dirty cops filling up these streets. People like me are the only ones that keep this city clean nowadays. I've seen shit your eyes wouldn't believe in my years working this gig. Pulling stings on those who deserve it and busting chops with anybody who throws me a stink eye. You know what I mean? The way this city treats the poor souls wandering at night ain't for the faint of heart. It ain't nobody's job to help no one else out here. Just not how it's been, and not how it's ever gonna be. It's a real dog-eat-dog -dog world. Especially in Midnight City. The Filthy Fox. The lowest rated establishment within a 400 mile radius. Decided to pay a visit to an old partner of mine, Brock McGuire. We used to patrol a couple of blocks over on the northeast side of town near the Driftwood Estates, back when we were both in the force. That was all before Brock turned in the bottle and I turned in my badge. Here to get a few answers about a case from Brock. But first, I gotta talk to Jimmy who runs the place. He does his best, just like everyone around here. Detective Sal Valensnetti. Say now, what's it been? Four, five years? Hey there, Jimbo. Any chance you got a sad sack of shit laying around here? Regular, goes by the name of McGuire. Brock McGuire. Your old partner. Yeah, he's sitting over there at the booth. What? You getting the old duo back together? Hell no. Still working cases on my own. Just need a few answers from that old bastard. Say, Jimmy. Yes, Sal. Can you get me the dirtiest drink you got and a glass of water? You got it, Sal. I'm gonna give you two a moment to chat. I'm gonna go out back and take a smoke break. God damn it, what are you fucking doing? Oh. Valentine. Say, what's it been? Four? Five years? Only my friends call me Valentine Brock. And I don't have any. Anyway, I got some questions for you. Oh, come on, Sal. I ain't done nothing. Every time you hit a dead end, you come down here accusing me of all You just shut up. I'm not accusing you of anything. Just cooperate, numbskull. Listen, there's been a chain of PIs getting murdered in Midnight City. Thought you might be able to help me ID a suspect. What am I supposed to know about that? I ain't heard nothing. Might have read a couple articles in the Gazette, but... I ain't heard nothing about nobody. Listen, Brock. I've been after this for a while. Just take a look at these pictures. Tell me if you recognize anybody. What am I supposed to do with these? The woman in the dress. She's been at every crime scene. Oh what? I, uh... No. Never heard of her before in my life. Oh yeah, Brock. Then explain these to me. Look, Sal, I, uh, I fall on hard times, all right? Done a lot of stuff in the last 10 years that I regret. But I gotta tell you something. What, Brock? What are you trying to say? You gotta stop, Sal. You will know what you're getting yourself into. This woman, she's it. She's danger! And there I was, sitting next to a dead friend, with my perp right in front of me, but I couldn't move. Dead in the water, felt as though I was seeing a vision, some kind of wondrous miracle. 
the most beautiful woman I ever saw. I knew right then that I was in danger. Wanna join me? Wow, Sal, I completely forgot about the woman on the corner with the gun. Absolutely slipped my mind. I just, I got so excited to see you, it just went a whoosh, right over the old noggin. You see, it reminds me of that time in hey, 37. Jimmy, you have a good night. I'm gonna call my cleanup guy up and take care of all, uh, all this. God damn. Midnight City. Never no danger when it's staring you right in the face. One minute you're sitting across from an old friend, and the next you're in a room with two bodies about to get shipped to the morgue in an unsolved case. Hey, Sal. You forgot to pay for your drink. What does it look like I do here? Run a soup kitchen? Here, Jimmy. Keep the change. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Midnight City.